converting a decimal to a proper fraction in its simplest form. Uh, in this example, we're asked to write uh, this digit, this uh, decimal, 0 0.225. We're asked to write it as a fraction in its simplest form. So we really are going to do this in three steps. To come up with the fraction, we need the numerator, the top, and the bottom. To come up with the numerator, we are just going to drop the decimal. Drop the decimal, that will give us our numerator. And then for the denominator, for the bottom, we're going to use the last digits place value. Last digit place value. All right, and then that's going to give us a fraction. We've got the numerator and the denominator. So from there, we just need to reduce, if possible. We need to simplify that fraction. So let's see what happens when we try this problem. Uh, first of all, the numerator. We're supposed to drop the decimal. So instead of 0 0.225, we just have the 225. 225, that's my numerator. And for the denominator, I'm supposed to use the last digit its place value. So looking at our original decimal, the last digit was the 5. And that 5 is in the tenths, hundredths, and the thousandths place. So thousandths, that gives us our denominator. So that did the conversion to get us our fraction. But as usual, we would like to simplify our fractions. So looking at this numerator and the denominator, I'm trying to think of anything that will divide evenly into both of those. And hopefully you come up with 25. Uh, if you get 5, that's fine because you can do that in two steps. But 25 will give it to us all at once. Top and bottom is divisible by 25 and the top 225 divided by 25 that would give us 9 and in the bottom 1000 divided by 25 that would give us 40 and we would try to reduce that any further if possible but I can't think of anything else that divides evenly into both of those other than one so we have simplified our fraction we've taken our original decimal turned it into a fraction and then simplified, 9 40ths.